this episode of the Ultimate Touring Bike, I'll be taking you through my sleeping mats, as well as what ones I recommend for different situations and needs. This sleeping mat is a peak oil light petite sleeping mat and it's supposed to be a self inflating sleeping mat although I found it not too like most others. Um, it's made by Pacific Outdoors and this is what I use currently. You can obviously as you've seen from my other videos you can put other stuff in here. I'll put a bivy bag, tent pegs, spare keys, um, paracord and a military bash or a waterproof tilt. So you can fit quite a bit in there, and it's only taking up the same amount of space in your bag anyway, so it'll just weigh a little bit heavier. But this on the weight front, it doesn't say a weight, but it's very lightweight. You can't really beat it, I've got no complaints about it. So let's take a look and pump it up. This is a Peak Oil Light Petite sleeping mat, and I highly recommend these for a number of reasons. Firstly, these toned borders are really useful for keeping you on the bed at night and secondly the material and back support in this sleeping mat is second to none I highly recommend this as top of the list goes is when you sleep at night that is your rest and you need a good sleep to be prepared for the next day's adventures it took about one and a half two minutes say to pump this up manually blowing air into it and uh, it wasn't too strenuous and it goes up quite quick. Uh, the self inflating mechanism on these, as well as other Thermarest or Caramel or Adventurer branded self inflating mats, they don't tend to work too well and they only pump it up three quarters of the way. So you normally have to pump it up anyway, and it takes about seven to nine minutes, especially for this one at about 13 15 minutes. This one takes just to get halfway full. So I always blow them up. And this is the Pacific Outdoors Peak Oil Light. This sleeping mat here is a Trek Light Small made by Highlander. And I don't use this myself as it's only a half size sleeping mat, although it is quite wide, which I like, as well as the material itself is very hardy and it is very well made. So let's unpack this and take a look. Here we have the Trek Light. And the reason why I recommend this is not because it's a full length, because it isn't, that's why I don't use it, because I like my feet being at the same level as my other muscles and my spine, just to prevent cramps and uncomfortable night's sleep. But moving on to this, it's a nice thick material, there's plenty of supporting and it's quite well thought out. A very extremely nice material this is, and on the back here we have little gripping pads all over the circumference of the back side of the sleeping mat just to aid in trying to grip to your tent if you're on a hill or if you're a rough sleeper say and you kick about in the night and you don't want to move have this and you'll be flying on magic carpets to Pakistan in no time if you've got hips and lower back pain get one of these it will still fit on your touring bike across your panniers um, it doesn't look particularly aesthetically pleasing but if you're touring around the country, you're probably not going to look the best either, to be fair. So, as long as you're comfortable at night, you get a good night's sleep. But the main thing is, when you're cycling, you need to look after your back and your hips. I would highly recommend it for anyone with back trouble. Um, I'm going to set this up and show you how big it is. As you can see, it's a bit of a monstrosity, but as I said before, this encumbers all your legs, your ankles, your calf muscles. Your, your buttocks, your, your, your back, your spine, your neck, your shoulders, your head, everything's laying on this and it's lovely and beautiful to lay on, it's really thick and fat obviously again they don't self inflate all the way I do use the other ones regularly although when I'm just camping one night I do like to have a good night's sleep when I'm like having a, a, a party or something or a barn party then I usually take this just for a bit more comfort and a steady night's sleep. Here we have all three sleeping mats. Uh, please leave a comment in a box below if you use any of these and how you've felt benefit or unbenefited from them. I hope my tips have helped, whether it's about my recommended ones or the sleeping mat I use with the sides. 
and I hope you can find benefit if you have hip and back trouble with these bigger style mats. Even though it does take up and encumber your bike a little bit on the rear rack, it still gives you a good night's sleep and that's what you want for cycle touring. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it helped someone and inspired someone to find the right sleep mat for them, whether you have back and hip issues or you just have trouble slipping off the bed at night. Um, please subscribe for more content like this. Till next time, stay safe and I hope you find peace.